Let's proceed with more questions. 101. The following are forms of justice as a major principle of health ex ethics except distributive justice, right-based justice, legal justice, education justice. What do you think? So the first the three are true and the last one is not. So when it comes to principles of health ethics, one of them is justice and the forms of justice are those first three. Distributive, this has to do with the scarce resources. Everyone has got, uh, is supposed to have that justice when it comes to the distribution of resources. And then also the rights of people, there should be just uh, justice regarding the rights of people. And also legal justice, having access to just the legal system. All right, so the 102 then, the next question, different parties that can be held accountable or hold others accountable are called loci, domains, procedures, protocols. What do you think? So when you are talking about these parties which can hold others accountable or be held accountable, they are called loci. And then the things that you use to hold others accountable is called domain. For example, is there delivery of health services? Is there financial management? Those things that you are looking at. And then you also have procedures. So these are all components of accountability. Procedures are now the ways that you use, informal ways or formal ways for just evaluating if people are getting to to be accountable or not. Name three components of accountability. Local domain procedures, answer, response, pay, keep, save, help, all of the above. So it's just more similar to the previous question. That is local domain and procedures. 104. What is morally upright according to the theory of utilitarianism? What gives happiness? What has good consequences? Being able to follow constraints both A and B. So what do we think? Well, utilitarianism describes morality as being able to do something that has got good consequences. And in this case, anything that gives you happiness then is morally upright. So it's both A and B. Actually, good consequences according to utilitarianism means happiness. So anything that you do, as long as at the end of it, or you are going to be happy then it is morally applied according to this theory. So, 105. A question such as, you are a man of God, aren't you? Is an example of open-ended, closed-ended, leading, probing. What do we think? So, you are a man of God, aren't you? This type of question is called a leading question. So, someone already knows the thing. They use what they know to formulate a question. You are going to church, aren't you? You were there, weren't you? And if you talk about open-ended questions, these are questions that you are able to describe more in order to answer. For example, what is your relationship with him? And closed-ended questions, these are questions that just require a simple yes or no. For example, can I get your shoes? And then probing questions, these are questions that are follow-up questions. For example, can you just say more? Such questions. 106. What are domains as components of accountability? Areas of accountability, paying for misuse, answering for any act, parties to be held accountable. So when you talk about domains, these are areas of accountability. What are you going to use to see if people are accountable or not? For example, financial management. Are people f managing the finances as well? So those are areas of accountability. 107. Formal and informal for evaluating compliance with domains, for disseminating the evaluation and responses by the accountable parties accord, domains, procedures, loci, policy. So anything that you get to use to evaluate if people are complying or if people are accountable, those are called procedures. 108. 
what is the role of biomedical scientists in healthcare in a healthcare health professions team mean what is the role of biomedical students in a health professions team delivering medicine taking care of the patient analyzing specimen in a lab implementing policies so when you talk of delivering medicine that's the role of pharmacists taking care of the patient that's the role of nurses analyzing specimen that is the role of biomedical students and laboratory I mean biomedical scientists and laboratory scientists and then implementing policies this is a role of the other who gets to work in or poly of course we have got policy makers but it's not a role of policy makers and implementation is by another member of the team which of the following shows sources of ethical problems ideologies a law religion cultural differences, conflict, pride. Actually, when you talk about the proposal question, this is, that's the administrative officers, those people wait on the administration. So, which of the following shows sources of ethical problems? Ideologies, law and religion, cultural difference, conflict, pride, new technologies, society beliefs, lack of food, or all of the above. So, ideologies, yes, they can be sources of ethical problems for example these ideas conflict with the law or something and then the law can also con conflict with one's beliefs also religions and then cultural differences yes conflict yes but not pride pride is not one of those which get which act as sources of ethical problems new technologies yes because sometimes new technologies can can differ with the beliefs of a society for example by reason of these new technologies which are coming there are a lot of things that are getting to change all societal beliefs are also sources but lack of food is not a source of ethical problem so it is a 110 a situation where an invading army's guide force a woman to choose one of her children to be executed adding that both will be executed if she refuses to choose is an example of ethical paradox conflict disaster calamity what do you think so that is an example of a ethical paradox or moral dilemma or ethical dilemma 